Hello Gemini, um, okay this is going to be quite a quick reading, it's the second time I've recorded this because I feel like um, I'm not quite happy with the way that I recorded uh, the reading the first time around. So this is the way that the cards came out for you, um, I haven't set this up, this is the way they came out, I could maybe tack on where I pull the cards at the end of this video so you can see, um, but yeah it's... Um, just because I'm not happy with the way I um, the way I spoke about this reading and there's a few things in there that I think were a bit sensitive for for YouTube so um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk you through it again so it was funny because the the two cards that came out for you so this is what's what can you expect from the spooky season Gemini <laughs> and the cards that came out for you were the two of cups with these kind of twins on so Gemini's the twins duh and the lovers card which is literally your card in the tarot <laughs> So what can Gemini expect from, from uh, spooky season? Gemini can expect Gemini en energy. Okay, fine. Um, and I was going to say, it's funny because I asked uh, the same thing for Taurus. What can Taurus expect? And uh, they got the King of Pentacles <laughs> and the underlying is the King of Pentacles. So it's just funny. It's like, what can Taurus expect? Taurus. What can Gemini expect? Gemini. Okay. But you've got the Lover's card and you've got the Lover's card twice. So it also came out of this deck here and the Sun. Okay, so the happiest card in the tarot, the brightest card in the tarot, um, you know, things coming to light. Um, so I think feelings could get expressed here. You uh, you could definitely have met somebody who feels like your soulmate. You're, you know, this is your person because it's the two of cups and the lover's card. And here you've got one of my, my twin flame cards. So, um, yeah, yeah, Gemini. Uh, a decision to make, though, a decision to make with this. So. Now, there could be some sort of choice here. I don't know if this is the same person for you. Uh, I don't know if this is something about choosing yourself or choosing your partner. Um, or also, there could be like family involved, like siblings or children. Um, because it says, it's got this energy of like, um, not everybody is prepared to go, is how it's coming through. Now, it looks to me like these people here, so the characters on these cards, um, are trapped inside this castle. And you can see here the Nine of Wands, which is quite for quite a few readings, but it's the first time it's quite from this deck uh, for you. This specific Nine of Wands, which talks about uh, something that's been like a long battle, like it, it's the Wounded Warrior card, it's something that's been difficult, you've had to kind of keep picking yourself back up over and over again. Sometimes you've thought about giving up on whatever this is, but you, you keep picking yourself up you're still standing um but it's coming through to me today with the imagery of like this is a guard and it's stopping people from leaving this castle so it's almost like somebody's almost like imprisoned i want to kind of say or they feel very very trapped now also confirming this is this eight of swords card here uh, the eight of swords is i feel trapped i don't know how to get out of this situation that i'm in there's no way out um, i want to say that you're being asked to be patient. Whatever this is, if this is resonating for you and you feel very stuck and you feel very trapped, um, like, you know, you're the you're the princess in the castle kind of thing that came out for somebody else as well. I want to say that the universe is assisting you. So you're being asked to stick it out a bit longer in this Nine of Wands energy. Like, be patient. Keep sticking it out. Like, persevere through whatever this is. Because underneath this, you've got the Hangman card. So it does talk about... Um, patience and being tied up and being stuck again another card about being stuck but what's underneath this eight of swords this other card about being trapped is um the ace of wands so i feel like it's almost like spirit's got you back you've got angelic assistance here um and it's coming through as like this being the key to unlock the door because underneath this you can see this door with like all these different options um and this leads to the um the Ten of Wands. So with this being the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior card, this is like per persevering in a situation for a long time. Um, when you get the Extra Wand, which is, I feel like being given to you by the universe, it's almost like it's coming, it's like sneaking through. You can see the colours on this card. It's like, you know, it's coming through in an, in an unexpected way, I want to say. It's like the universe drops the key down the chimney, right? And then you've got the key. So it's like the key's inside the house or like it's going to be slid under the door something like this so it's like with the nine and the one you get te ten so you've got, then got the ten of ones and the ten of ones is like um like almost there it's like you've all, you can see the finish line now you can complete the journey so it's almost like this energy is like coming to you it's like coming to get you out of the castle or something like this so yeah the universe i think is gonna is gonna send help 
you're gonna get unstuck you're gonna get unlocked right you're gonna could just be an escape room i don't know um but you are you're gonna you are going to be broken free from the situation or you're going to see the escape route especially with the sun card there as well and the imagery of the colors of the sun and the ace of wands it's like i want to say the, the key is coming now it could be a stroke of inspiration um a gut feeling an instinct um there's something there's something that's going to change this situation for you and I do feel like some of you, I mean, with the, the lover's card here, which is actually called the choice, and with this kind of two of uh, two of one's energy, which is like, almost like, should I stay or should I go? Who should I choose? And this kind of like four of cups energy. I feel like for some of you, it's like, I feel like the situation that you're in has, there's, n it's like you've learned not to, it's like you've learned not to, drink from any of those cups it's kind of giving me um you know um pirates of the caribbean where elizabeth swan's on board the pirate ship and he's trying to get her to eat the food um and she's like refusing to eat the food it's like um it could be that somebody's like offering you drinks like offering you wine or something or uh, it's like you don't want to i don't want to scare anyone right i mean we are talking about like spooky season and halloween and spooky stories so i don't think it's anything bad it's just like whatever's on offer there's there's people in your life who are trying to offer you things and and you're kind of done with it i think you're done with the you're done with people who are like a gossipy or bitchy or backstabby it's like you've you've tasted from those cups and those cups aren't right for you anymore um it came you your previous reading came through with this analogy of like how do you know who's right for you and i said imagine you've got stuck in a lift with somebody and you have to spend 24 hours in that lift in that elevator so it's a small room nothing in it just you and that other person um so think about the different people in your life who would you who would you like those lift doors open you step out like some of those people you would be like bursting to get out of that door some of you would be like i don't i can't even make it to <laughs> to the 24 hours i need to get out of here i can't stand being in the room with this person for that long you know it could be like some people just bore you it's like they just exhaust you some people are like emotional vampires you know they just drain your energy like some people just make, make you feel bad about yourself like they're really critical some people like are all doom and gloom and they just bring your energy down um, but then there's some people in your life who make you feel really confident and good about yourself. There's some people who you can talk to really easily. You know, you set the world to rights, you know, you have fun with, you joke with, you play games with, you do other things with, right? Um, there's people whose energy matches yours and who make you feel good. And there's people whose energy are like a, uh, you know, like an anchor or like a an anvil, like you're tied to an anvil and you're trying to keep afloat, you know, they're just dragging you down. So it could be that other people's toxic issues um, keep you in low vibration. So you want to choose your heart. You want to choose the people who make you feel good about yourself, I want to say. But there could be restrictions like how do you do this? How do you do this? So let me read these, these cards for you. Two of Cups. Yeah, I just wasn't happy with how I explained the cards and some some weird stuff came through that I thought I'm, I don't really think that's meant to be in the reading and it's there was a few things that would be like trigger warningy which I didn't feel were appropriate so yeah I just feel more comfortable re-recording this but so you're gonna have to just trust me that this is how they came out um the two of cups two becomes one the two of us symbolize the power this is created when two eyes become one we that includes all kinds of partnership excuse me, love union, friendship, family tie or business relationship. Either ways, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Either ways, the re relation you're into shows a great balance and is based on mutual respect. It is nurturing, supportive, harmonious. Darkness and light peacefully coexist and oppositions are always gently overcome. Another thing, we look very much alike. This is because we also represent the love and respect you must offer yourself in order to fully commit to one another. Love your own soul as much as you may love your soulmate. Union, love, balance, peaceful relationships and soulmates. So yeah, soulmate energy, right? <laughs> and um, the lover's card as well. So it's like somebody's choosing their soulmate. You've got the lover's card twice. The lover's card used to be called, called choice. 
and it's choosing love, choose, choosing your heart, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. The lovers. Love is always a choice. Look at, look at us. The bond we have created is eternal. Our love is altogether emotional, spiritual and sexual. It is the deepest love ever. Yet it is the love we have fought for. Choices had to be made and it's your turn now to choose what is going on with my throat chakra. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Choices had to be made and it's your turn now to choose love and to fight for love. You have, as we had, to be clear about your own values and to stand for them. No love is ever possible if you are not true to yourself first. If you're facing a dilemma, honesty is the only way to get you through the shadows of doubt. For the decision you make is to be essential at this point in your life. Never forget, there are only two paths. One is wrong and the other one is love. Special bond, attractiveness, soulmate, choices, being true to oneself. So yeah, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about what you want from relationships. Um, yeah, and don't take anything that's on offer unless it speaks to your heart. And if you have to turn away from something and choose yourself, then do so. Um, and then here's real truth, right? Real sun, real uh, clarity and freedom. Freedom comes from within before it comes from without. You have to find, you have to connect with your own soul and find love for yourself, unconditional love for the self. Um, and then you can never be trapped. It, it gives me the Hamlet quote. It's funny because um, it was coming through with um, Ophelia. Um, if you know Ophelia from Hamlet, um, I was kind of getting that energy, which is why actually why I've re-recorded re the reading because I went down that rabbit hole a bit too far. But um, the... Um, it gives me a quote that I really like from Hamlet, which is, I could be bounded in a nutshell and call myself a king of infinite space. He does say, "If were it not that I had bad dreams, but the, the quote itself, I could be bounded in a nutshell and call myself a king of infinite space is such a beautiful quote because to me, it talks about your imagination and your ability to dream and, um, you know, how your soul can never be, your soul can never be, um, contained you know it's it's something that transcends uh physical borders if you want to talk about astral projection which was kind of coming through to me it's like um astrally projecting past the guards into each other's environment you know meeting up in the dream space especially if this is tw twin flames energy which of course you would get that gemini right being the twins in the zodiac so um yeah it's it, somebody it's come through for a few different readings i know um virgo had something in their reading where um they had this kind of eight of swords energy and it was like well if i'm, I'm trapped in my physical environment then i'm going to go up to the 5d was how it was coming through and um somebody else had tucked which is Katy perry i'll keep you tucked away inside my head where i, I can find you whenever i want you so it's, it's somebody escaping their physical environment to go into their imaginational space so i do want to say make sure you keep your feet on the ground don't uh don't go too rose tinted glasses you know you you do need to take steps out of a, a situation if you're in a, a toxic environment you know and i think that the universe is going to send you assistance with this it's almost like um i was getting a few harry potter references for you as well it's almost like um the prisoner of azkaban right where is where his uncle comes in the fire it's like uh you're gonna there's something inside the house that can help you already and it's it's been sent from spirit and it could be some kind of spirit guide i want to say like something visiting you um in a good way not in a bad way right it's it's, it's helpful uh so yeah the sun is coming in it's like the light is coming in through those windows it's like the sun is reaching you the the universe is reaching you um but there is also a message coming through here about um you know having to choose having to choose yourself what's right for you and when you choose what's right for you, yes, that could involve moving towards another person. It could involve being on your own. But it also involves moving away from people who are toxic, from people who perhaps do keep you trapped in that kind of devil energy. Now that can talk about addictions. I'm just really noticing here how this person's been offered a glass. She's been offered wine. Uh, you know, if you are perhaps... Um, getting over an alcohol addiction you don't want to be around people who offer you drinks you know so it's moving away from people who who keep you trapped in healthy unhealthy habits um and if you've been making progress even if you're trapped and you can't leave that physical situation i feel like the universe sees this as 
progress in your soul and so therefore the universe won't keep you trapped in this situation for for longer than necessary i think you're going to be there for as long as you need to be to learn the lessons and to really solid solidify the lessons and then i think you're going to get help um so but yeah i could be bounded in a nutshell and call myself a king of infinite space you're not really your soul's never trapped no matter what's happening to your physical environment your soul is always free uh, that is not something that can be uh, controlled or contained, right? So, believe in the impossible, Gemini. You did actually have um, super moon as well and um, emotions are running high, I think it was. So, just be careful that that you're staying grounded, that you're not getting caught up in any external drama, especially if there's like toxic people around you who are kind of that... Um, like um, low vibrational, like bitchy energy, you know, like catty, fighty. Don't get drawn into the drama. I want to say keep yourself out of the drama. Uh, again, Taurus had something similar. They were like above the drama. So just be aware that you may be very em over emotional at this time, which, you know, you may you may feel a bit out of control sometimes. So um, whatever you can do to get dr get grounded and uh, trust that good things are coming your way um the super moon is again here look it's um success is close i must trust something exciting lies ahead the resolution to your question is closer than you think um so good stuff is on its way i want to say but you've also got the blue moon so as the saying goes some things happen only once in a blue moon in other words hardly ever drawing this card suggests you are about to get a rare chance and that something one-off off could well be about to happen this card is a very positive sign if you felt like you were hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe whatever you're asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen however with this rare opportunity before you it's important that you believe in it if you can convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor then guess what it won't go in your favor be grateful for this card which is a reminder to believe in your dreams i am lucky Miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon. So just be careful because this can be missing out on something that's a big opportunity. Um, what may what happened may only happen once. The person you're inquiring about is a rare find. Tell me about it. It's like coming through as like literally your soulmate. Um, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. This situation is unlikely to repeat. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Choose yourself, choose your heart, get yourself unstuck. The sun is coming in. You're going to have clarity and you're going to have freedom. So I think there's something here about being reliant on thinking positive. Watch out for any negative thinking because I think that's just going to keep you trapped. You know, move towards freedom, expansion, growth, um, people who make you feel good. As always, do trust your own judgment on that. You know your situation best. Keep yourself safe no matter what you're doing. You know, take sensible precautions. You know, if you're meeting someone, meet them in a public place, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there's something really good here, Gemini. And I want to say it's meant for you. It's meant for you and it's meant for this other person too. Because um, you're choosing your soul and you're choosing your soulmate is the way that that looks to me. So Gemini, uh, good luck. <laughs> Again, these things, these messages, they come through is huge. And then they, when they play out, it's something a lot more lighter. It tends to be like, oh, you're just watching Romeo and Juliet or something like that. You know, you're just going watching Hamlet. So um, it may not be as big as it seems here. But you had cards about things being overwhelming and once in a lifetime opportunities. So I think if something does go up and it feels good and it feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity, you're probably going to kick yourself if you don't go for it. So don't miss out. Do take care of yourselves, Gemini. Enjoy spooky season and uh, yeah, look after yourselves and look after others. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.